Welcome back to our Afternoon Express Bake Along where we have our guest chef who's walking us through very steadily how to create the best artisanal breads. Now chef, we are ready for this delicious brioche that you just nail every single time. But for some of our viewers who are not familiar with the brioche, what is it? So it's like we did before, basic bread dough. Um, but instead of just that, we add a little bit more butter, mm. egg, and then of course your milk. So it's milk based. Yes. So here's where we get a little creamy with our bread. Yes, that's great. Love that, okay. Lovely, soft, buttery, fluffy, um, lovely to toast. Brilliant. Well, let's get baking. And Perfect. whilst we start, I mean, can you just tell us what we need for it? You've already mentioned some top uh, ingredients. Sure. So we're going to start off with your sponge. It's it's similar to a starter, mm -hmm. um, which just reactivates the yeast quicker um, so that the end result is fluffy and more lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take our flour. Uh, we're going to add our, um, let's see, our yeast. So I can see your yeast looks quite different to our yeast. Yes. Can you please explain <laughs> to us? So this is your baker's yeast. Um, it's basically the same as uh, the instant yeast, but it's, the instant yeast has been dried out of this. So it's got a strong flavor yeast of it, so it reactivates quicker. Yeah. Okay. So yeast in the bowl, flour, um, tiny bit of sugar to just to wake up, to wake it up a bit. <laughs> um, then we're going to basically add our milk. All the milk. All the milk, that's okay. correct. So you want your milk to be at around about 22 degrees, which is like lukewarm water. Oh, lukewarm milk. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take a whisk and we're going to just basically get everything together. And this is definitely a more luxurious um, recipe because if you think about it, the first recipe for Palisa we used mm. just water. So now we've brought in yep. the big guns. We've got butter. We've got the, you know, the creaminess and the protein from the egg. We've got milk, you know. So it yeah. definitely is I, by far for me, brioche is probably by far my favorite dough or bread to eat. And now I actually get to make it from scratch. Yeah. So uh, I'm actually just as excited. But like, if if you were to grate the bread doughs, because you're a bread maker, so <laughs> there's got to be one that for you, because yes, you started your journey because of pizza dough, Yes. but like, what is your one dough that still is your favorite child of all of them? <laughs> um, the, the dough that the supermarkets always bake, oh, um, mix, and they always sell it in the packet in the fridges, yes. that was all time favorite, can't wait to get to the supermarket <laughs> to get that pack, and <laughs> to, just to put it in the tin, and just can't wait wow. for this pack. I mean, that's good. like a childhood, I'm sure a lot of people are still doing it, it's lovely. Childhood memories definitely yes. flashing back. Perfect. Okay. So you want to, if everything is mixed, you're just going to leave it. Um, it needs around about between 8 to 15 minutes to basically create the sponge. It's literally okay. a sponge that's going to oh, right. come up. And then if that's done, you're going to mix it into your flour. So into this bowl, you can actually put in one egg. Okay. And Chef, with the uh, sponge dough that we just made now, do you want the sugar to dissolve or it doesn't really matter? If it's yes. Um, that's why yeah, the, the lukewarm milk also helps, helps. it to uh, okay. evaporate it. Perfect. Um, then we're going to add our salt. Okay. Um, just because the, the yeast is already starting to mm -hmm. activate. So, okay. you don't, so, so we don't then, need to duplicate the yeast again. Yes. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to add our lovely butter. Okay. The best part. <laughs> and then some more sugar. Yay. Just because it's... This is what I love about yes. the brioche dough. It has a touch of sweetness in it. Not too much, but a yes. touch, and that just basically sets it apart from all the other doughs for me. Wow. And that's why I... Exactly. It's a favorite and for me. One of my favorites as well, you don't need even oil or anything mm. with this because the butter like makes it so elastic. Mm. Um, you Let's can literally press it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I want to see that coming together quite nicely. Yes. So now once all of these ingredients are into our bigger bowl, we just mix it all on in? That's correct. Okay, yes. perfect. Okay, cool. Oh, so mixing. Spatula, wooden spoon, doesn't really matter. All right. Whatever it comes up for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a spatula just to create like like we did before, mm. um, but a wooden spoon is perfect. If yeah, I naturally picked up a wooden spoon, but now that you do mention why you're using a spatula, I think I'm going to change. <laughs> because that does make a lot of sense. It just makes it that much easier. And if, then sh if, yeah? Sorry, if you want to, you can, you can add a little bit of, of the, the starter into here, like just a tiny bit, just to, so that you can just get everything together. Okay. And then, Chef, you did also mention the, the butter is um, at room temperature. Yes. So we're not using um, cold butter. That's correct. All right. Um, yeah, you, if you use cold butter, it will, yeah, it will make crumbs, crumbs and okay. um, then you're going to make pastry. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. 
Okay, it brilliant, fits. Chef. Perfect. So once that is all done. Do you want the butter to also like be fully mixed in or it won't really matter? Um, it, it won't really matter. Okay. Because once we can add that to that, you will see everything will just come lovely okay. together. Okay, I think I'm going to add some more starty um, sure. dough in here because it's just looking a little dry compared to yours, Chef. <laughs> yeah, so Chef, can. if you didn't have a starter dough, would it still be brioche bun or a brioche dough or yes. is this very important? It's very important. Um, it creates that fluffiness as well as um, it makes the process faster um, mm. because if you don't do that, it's going to take like a half a day. Oh, wow. Um, just because it's butter and something heavy and also egg. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. So it makes it, the process quite quicker. Okay. Yeah. It's coming together quite well. Yes. This is simple, this is easy and is this just what you are all about? Simple, <laughs> easy, quick in the kitchen but also a labour of love when creating your bread. Absolutely. Yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Um, and then when you finished um, massaging it out quite th thoroughly, I think yours is quite well in its way compared to mine. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> then, yeah. <laughs> then what? Um, so you can you can actually add a little bit more um, okay. of the the starter dough. Okay. Better. I'm looking at your your um, dough, your starter dough, and I can actually see there's a bottom layer at the, at yes, the bottom of it. Yes, that's correct. It's really yeah, thickening up as though it's a custody type uh, consistency. Absolutely, and that's actually the difference um, between the the active yeast uh, and the, the, which is nothing wrong with the the, the tr instant yeast. Um, Oh, in fact, just if you want to make the process quicker, you can use two packets uh, if you want. Okay. Yeah. So and the active yeast is more potent, in essence. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> so, and the butter and the milk and egg don't really, um, it's not yeasty at all on, in the end, because that basically just folds it in. You know. Brilliant. So, Chef, is this it? That's this as it. simple as it is, as simple creating thing. that delicious um, brioche dough yes and then how long does it go into the oven for and um so brioche you normally bake on quite a height on 200 degrees um for between 12 to mm. 15 minutes um depends on the size if you're making a loaf it will go up to 18 minutes mm. okay. and then yeah once the sponge is reached to the top you're just going to basically enfold it in okay and then you're going to Basically, everything will come together as a dough. Okay. It will rise and simple as that. Good to enjoy. Coming up, we're going to be using this delicious brioche dough to create some cinnamon buns with figs.